Okay, so I have a hot tub, the filter in here, the filter keeps getting clogged. So after the chlorine here gets used up, then what ends up happening is it turns like foggy in there. So like, almost like it's cloudy. So then you use this over here, and I just use a few ounces of this, not even a few ounces, maybe half an ounce, just a little squirt of it in there. And then that causes all the chlorine polycurls to clump up and then get caught in your filter. But then unfortunately that caused your filter to get really clogged and really, yeah. So anyways, this is how I clean my filter. All right, just use the high pressure nozzle here. But the catch is, you have to drain your filter well, so let it sit for 10 minutes so it drains. That makes it light, so it spins easier. I just put a regular pipe through this. Okay, I found, happen to find one that's right, okay? So this is what I do here. So now I turn this stream on. It's a really high pressure stream, like right there. Good. And now I just spray it. Let's see what happens here. The water sprays off. So as you clean it, as you clean it, it also dries itself with centrifugal force. So I find that just going back and forth one time here is good. Now I let it stop spinning. Now I go on the other side. It's gaining speed. There you go. Now it's spinning. I figure it's probably somewhere between 800 and 1,000 RPM. It doesn't hurt the filter. The high pressure doesn't hurt the filter. This is a cloth filter, or paper, I think it is. Um, and there you go. That's about all it takes. Pretty simple. So now, get that cleaned up. This over here. Okay, now keep in mind that it does not clean deep inside. It only cleans about 75% of it. But as you can see, it goes way deep down in there but it's cleaned about 75%, which is plenty enough to keep it from being clogged. So now, when I put this thing on here, I'm gonna turn the pump on high. Before, when I put my hand over here, you would feel the suction really, really bad. Right now, there's barely any suction. So now, I put my cap back on, and my filter has now been cleaned. I have to do that once a week. Uh, nobody uses it. Uh, every other week. So there you go. That's how I clean my filter. Later, YouTube.